come to you in the name of the Lord. Whoever you are and wherever you may be, know that I love you and God loves you and that you are not alone, even if you feel unworthy. He has a will for you today. I pray that you hear him. It's a good time to follow Jesus. There's mercy and grace for you today. We only have a few days on this earth. Let us enjoy them. Now let's take a breath in. And a breath out. (sighs) To the word of God we go. Psalm number 145. David's Psalm of Praise. I will extol thee, my God, O King, and I will bless thy name forever and ever. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise thy works to another, and shall declare thy mighty acts. I will speak of thy glorious honor, of thy majesty, and of thy wondrous works. And men shall speak of the might of thy terrible acts, and I will declare thy greatness. They shall abundantly utter the memory of thy great goodness, and shall sing of thy righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger, and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works. All thy works shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy saints shall bless thee. They shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom, and talk of thy power to make known to the sons of men his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and thy dominion endureth throughout all generations. The Lord upholdeth all that fall and raiseth up all those that be bowed down. The eyes of all wait upon thee, and thou givest them their meat in due season. Thou openest thine hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways, and holy in all his works. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. The Lord preserveth all them that love him, but all the wicked will he destroy. My mouth shall speak of the praise of the Lord. Let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. This is encouragement along the way. I pray that you have been encouraged by the holy reading of his word. And let's talk about it a little bit. Wow, David's psalm of praise. Man, he has given God some glory in this. He has given him all kinds of praise. All glory to God in Jesus' name. What a wonderful psalm. Guys, there's only five left. Only 150 of these, so thank you, God, for your faithfulness, for uh, sustaining me, getting me um, through this. Uh, please renew my strength and, uh, and uh, renew the strength of all those listening. Man, there's so much to be said. This is this is what it's about. This is giving God the glory, giving God the praises that He desires. I I was recently talking with um, someone about. The secrets that David lets us in on, um, the relationship uh, that we can have with the Lord. Um, David was a man after God's own heart, and uh, I I think about like how did David posture his whole being to have his heart be so fervently, steadfastly just going after God. We got so many distractions in our lives today. The internet has just changed everything. And it, I don't know, would, would life be better without the internet? I don't, maybe. Um, it's done a lot of really wonderful things, but it's also done terrible, terrible things. But there is a way to get undistracted. The Holy Spirit can transform and renew us. How does it happen? It happens by reading His Word. Reading His Word transforms and renews our minds. 
And David, David gives us a secret in this, in these Psalms. He gives us a secret of singing. What does it say in the first couple verses of this? I will extol thee, my God, O King, and I will bless thy name forever and ever. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. I recently uh, went to church on a Wednesday night, <clears throat> and they just, it, it wasn't a, a service, uh, it was just a dead, it was just a, a singing. We sung for two hours straight. And uh, it was so wonderful. Um, and to be honest, I, I really felt healed after it. There is something about praising God that does something to us. Jehovah Rapha, our healer. God heals us. There, there is so much power in praise that I, I could try to explain it to you and I might be able to do it well. But there is a difference again, like I've said in these, between a logical head knowledge understanding and a heart knowledge experiential walk. And I don't know about you, but I would always rather have the heart experience rather than the head knowledge. Because the heart experience is true wisdom. Head knowledge is just intellect. Which, I mean, no telling if those thoughts are even your own. But... The truth is effortless and the truth is eternal. And if you read God's word, the truth will begin to work on you. Like Romans 12, 2 says, and be, trans and be ye transformed. Um, may your mind be transformed and renewed. Uh, I believe it says by the holy reading of the word. Anyway. Guys, we have a, a duty as Christians, as uh, servants of the Lord, to to uh, pass on this knowledge. That's what I'm doing with these, and uh, um, I'm going to continue in my own way, in my uh, own ministry, to try to do that. Um, the young people are in trouble. Um, the people who know this truth need to pass it on. And verse 5 says, uh, or... Um, Verse, yeah, verse four, one generation shall praise thy works to another and shall declare thy mighty acts. Guys, one generation needs to spread the works to another generation. Um, this wisdom isn't just for us to have a great life, even though we can and do in Jesus Christ, but it, it works with the passing down of the knowledge, with the passing down of the wisdom. So if you're a parent, um, especially if you're a man, you're the leader of your family. You, um, It's your duty to get your children in church. It's your duty to uh, pass on the wisdom and knowledge that the Lord has bestowed unto you. And it's your wisdom to Matthew 6, verse 33, 34, 35, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And everything else in this life is going to fall into place. It's going to be given to you. Man. Verse number 13 says, Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and thy dominion endureth throughout all generations. God is eternal. His word is eternal. I pray that you know this. I pray that you understand this. And I pray that you pass on this knowledge. Dear God, I, I dear Holy Spirit, I pray of a, of a renewing and a refreshing of all the minds listening. I pray for a, a zeal and a boldness to be stirred, a fire to be just blazing inside of us, Lord. Blaze a fire of Holy Spirit inside of your people, Lord even right here and right now in Jesus' name, that we may pass on this knowledge to the next generation. God, you are not finished on this earth. You are still working. The things that you were doing back then, you're doing now. Thank you for these reminders, Lord. To God be the glory forever. In Jesus' name, amen. To the hymn of today we go. A hymn called, In the Garden. Uh, a hymn of fellowship with God. 
based on Genesis 3 verse 8, which says, And they heard the voice of the Lord walking in the garden. Copyright 1912 by Hallmark, Hallmack Co. Copyright renewed 1940. The Road Heaver Co. owner. All rights reserved. Fair use. I come to the garden alone While the dew is still on the roses And the voice I hear falling on my ear With the Son of God discloses And he walks with me and he talks with me And he tells me I am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. He speaks and the sound of his voice is so sweet the birds hush their singing. And the melody that he gave to me within my heart is ringing. And he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. I'd stay in the garden with him, through the night around me be falling. But he bids me go through the voice of woe, his voice to me is calling. And he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. Yes, communion, fellowship with God. Mm. I'd like to end with uh, Matthew 5, verse 1 through 12, otherwise known as the Beatitudes. Now, when he saw the crowds, this is Jesus, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him, and he began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Hmm. Sole Deo Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deo. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God forever and ever. In Jesus' holy, perfect, mighty name I pray. And in the dunamis power of the Holy Spirit, the same power that rose Jesus from the grave, I pray amen. Amen. And amen. <laughs>